Hello again, everyone. I recently profiled a new hand turned pen that I got uh, made out of skate backs from Black Robin Pens, and it made me realize that I had not yet shown you these two pens. Um, and I kind of mentioned before that I'm 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 trying to reduce my purchases of pens because I have a pretty good collection. <laughs> I don't really need any more pens, but um, a couple of these were so so the skateboard pen was obviously I had ordered that or gotten on the wait list for that over a year ago. And then this one was kind of in the works when I made the decision not to get too many more pens. And then this one <laughs> came along and I kind of had to get this one. So they're in their little packages that they came in and I'll show you these one by one. And actually I wonder, yeah, just trying to make sure this one's not leaking because it, it is very flowy. <laughs> I've actually not held it in a, uh, uh, perpendicular, a parallel position <laughs> like this. So I'm hoping it doesn't leak, but we'll see. So this one is a completely custom pen from Tailored Pen Company, as you can see. The case is really super tight, and I think I'm actually just going to put this and, and all these other pens into my little display case that I have. So this is a honeycomb design, and uh, the so I, I picked the I guess it's is it three colors might it, I can't I think it was three colors oh no four including the honeycomb so the honeycomb is actually a really dark maroon which you can kind of see here when the light reflects off of it which I think is really really pretty the main color is an indigo color and then uh, the accent colors are this sort of pinkish violet in here and then also a little bit of white so um, my instructions were mostly indigo with just a little bit of this violet color or um, I don't know what you call it, pinky violet <laughs> and uh, a little bit of the white. But I really, really like it. It's, it's got some sparkle to it. Um, these were all hand mixed colors for me. And actually the, I decided to choose the colors based on um, Sennelier oil pastels because I have some colors that I really really like in those and she was able to match the colors which I think is pretty cool um, and for the honeycomb I don't I'm not quite sure how they do that but um, but they do and then on the inside it's just I think I have a fine nib in here and I I did um, have it accommodate a Bach nib just because I'm kind of down on Yovo uh, nib units these days because they're, they've are they been such a hassle as far as breaking and all of that sort of thing. So I'm pretty sure this is either a fine or a medium. It's not labeled, so I can't remember what it, it's either. It's one or the other, but it's just a plain regular nib and I might end up getting um, sort of a specialty nib for this one. Like I did with Skateback Pen, I put my flash slit nib on that one and this one I may have to find another one as well but it's super pretty and it's really kind of nice that I was able to pick all the colors just normal on the inside with a converter and I have not written with this yet because um, I have been sticking to my I'm gonna just write with you know less than 10 pens <laughs> for a while so I have been writing with those and then this might make it through the rotation but of course you know, with, with these hand-turned pens, you really can put any nib you want on them, um, you know, within reason. Like, this could have any Bach nib on it now um, that's a size 6. So I will probably um, either search for a new one or get one off of another one of my pens in my collection. All right, so I just wanted to show you that one. Put that to the side. And then this one, this one sort of came up, and I was like, well, I really want to try this pen because it had had a couple of things going for it actually and it came with this lovely case which I think is lovely okay no leaking I I I don't think it will I'm just a little bit paranoid about that <laughs> and it has not leaked at all so as you can see <laughs> this is a size 8 nib and this is a steel nib so um and I did put a glittery ink in here and actually let me get I'm just gonna write on this thank you envelope from a different company. Oh, I, it's been a, it's not even gonna work, let alone leak. Um, it's been sitting for a while, 
and I probably, so there's the, I think it was one of the inks from the Inkvent calendar, and this does have a Twisby, um, one of the larger converters. It was actually made for that, um, and one of the reasons why I was a little concerned about it leaking is because it does have like a super wet flow with that big converter, but like I said, I, I'm, oh, there we go. There we go. I just needed to turn it up down, upside down a little bit. Okay, so let's just do, thank you. So it writes really well. This is, it's either a fine or medium. Once again, I've forgotten. <laughs> but uh, I actually got, so, so this is one of those nibs. Oh, goodness, what's the brand that's making Magna Carta? Uh, I believe they're located in India, that is that has started to make these steel size 8 nibs. And I, um, I actually purchased one just standalone, and it's really, really tall, so when it's in its housing. Um, and I tried to put it into a, um, let me actually get this out of the way so you can see that. Oh, and there's that sparkly, sparkly ink there. Um, I did actually try to fit it into one of my shown design pens, which has a converter for a size eight, and it was just too tall. It, uh, I could tell pretty much right away when I put it in that the nib was too long to fit inside the cap. And so basically I tried it. It, looks like it, it looked like it was gonna go right up against it before it even started to turn, so I just didn't try anymore and I took it out. So, um, so when I saw this pen, that does take that and you know has a cap to match obviously I thought well I'll have to try that because then I can kind of swap out the nib I already have oh yeah so this is a medium and the other one that I purchased standalone was a fine so so now I can switch these up if I want to but yeah so I do wonder if I like if I held this upside down would it leak because you can see it's really wet around the nib now that it's um, flowing so uh, this is a blank called Alaskan Sunrise. And this was actually one of the blanks that was kind of on my radar for a while. I had, I'd almost purchased several different pens in this uh, blank. And um, because this one came with this blank, it's, it seemed perfect for you know what I was looking for. And this is by Turnt Pen Company. And this is the only pen I have by them as well. Um, but I thought it was really nice that they included this little wrap here. But again, I might end up putting this pen in my display case, but it is nice to have this little wrap um, so it kind of folds in on itself so it won't come undone. Um, but yeah, it's just super nice and it's nice to have a, a steel size eight nib. And I do, bringing this one back out again, this one is only a size six. Um, I do have a pen on order from Jinhao that has a size 8 steel nib that Jinhao has made. So once I get that in, I will profile that on the channel. It was like super duper cheap. It was like $25 or something for the, for the, um, for the size 8 nib pen. I forget, forget what it's called. It, ha it has like a number X something like X510, something like that from Jinhao. Um, but it's, it's on the slow boat, literally from China. So, um, so it might be a little while before that comes in, but I will profile it when it does. But that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, feel free to, uh, subscribe. I think I already said that. <laughs> if you have any questions is what I meant to say. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. I'll put a link to these two pen companies, uh, down below in the in the description box and I hope to see you next time but in the meantime have a great day thanks so much bye